Audacious Church, welcome to 21 days of supernatural adventure, of breakthrough prayer and of sacrificial fasting. Well done. A big well done to you for committing to put God first in this new and exciting way so that we can believe that as we get the attention of heaven, we will see the miraculous unfold in our lives. There is no greater endeavour than advancing the kingdom of God through the mission of the local church. And the fact that we get to do this at this time in human history with this group of people in this part of the world is literally breathtaking. Today, as we start to build something significant, I want to read to you the words from the book of Nehemiah, some words from the book of Nehemiah. It's in chapter 6 and it's verse 15 and 16. It says the wall was finished on the 25th day of the month. It had taken 52 days and when all our enemies heard the news and the surrounding nations saw it, our enemies totally lost their nerve. They knew God was behind this work. Nehemiah, like us, was called to build something by God. And in just 52 days, he did it. So as word spread about what God was doing through him, all opposition totally lost their nerve, it says. And that is because they knew that God was behind it. Now, we're doing something not for 52 days, but for 21 days and as we hear from him, obey his word and step out in faith, I'm declaring today that all opposition will lose its nerve and everyone will know that God is undeniably behind what we are doing as a church. OK, would you join us today on the first day of these 21 days in praying for our Manchester campus, the place where this move of God started that we now continue to walk in after 16 years of turning dreams into destinations. Here are some specific ways or things that we can pray about today for Manchester campus. Number one, we're praying for Sundays. That's right, Sunday is the first day of the week, the Lord's Day. And I want you to pray that many people will come to our services across our three locations in North, in Central and in South. And that people will decide to make the house of God a non-negotiable for them as individuals and as families, that the rhythm of going to church every week will be a signature of people in Manchester campus, not once a month, not every other week, but every week, making Sunday as the first day of the week and choosing to put God first by coming together with others to worship him, hear his word and encourage others in the same. Number two, small groups. Would you pray that everyone in Manchester campus will understand the powerful, uh, the power of meaningful, authentic, life-giving relationships. And that they will connect with others from Audacious Church through our small group programme. Along with this increased commitment to grow together, we're going to need more small group leaders and more homes to meet in. So let's pray also for a rising up of new leaders and more homes so that we can make this happen. Imagine if 80% of our Sunday congregation were also part of a small group where, where they were seen, known and loved. That sounds audacious. Number three, would you pray for our locations? That is our North and South locations that are growing. So let's thank God for his faithfulness in that area. But also let's pray for the leaders as they take the locations forward into the next phase of growth and influence. We need to pray for the leaders of our locations. This is 
um, going to mean new venues. It's going to mean something different, something that's either more permanent or certainly the next phase in terms of increase of size of venues. We're constantly looking for venues uh, and we really need a breakthrough in this area. Let's pray that God will give us favour and that we will find new spaces to gather in and to go from for our north and south locations. The fourth thing, the final thing, would you pray for supernatural increase? Praying for increase across the board in Manchester campus. Sunday attendance, small groups as we've already prayed. Also serving, those serving on teams and also giving. Those committing to the biblical principle of tithing. That that revelation would increase in our campus in Manchester. And that as people step out in those areas, God will respond to that faith with supernatural and miraculous fruit. That people will be healed set free, their relationships restored, their debts paid, offences forgiven and lives lived with momentum and purpose in such a way that this city cannot ignore it. Listen guys, thanks so much for praying with us. Let's make these 21 days count starting today as we pray for Manchester. Have a fantastic day and a brilliant adventure for these next three weeks together. See you soon.